Well, hello there. It's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I'm back this morning uh, to do what I wasn't planning to do. So today is going to be my like Halloween day. I had planned to, to open this huge box of R Parks cards and all that kind of stuff, and I'm still going to do that. But when I woke up this morning, this was on the porch, <laughs> and so I've got to open another package. Uh, Again, what happened here, I didn't order like 20 things at once. What happened is Golden Week kind of caused a delay of shipment, and so everything got shipped at once. And so I'm kind of drowning in packages right now. Anyway, sorry, let's get this opened and we'll take a look at what's in here. I don't think we'll rip anything in here, but I don't know. It is Halloween. If this has like SCP in it, I might, maybe I'll do like a quick SCP rip or something. Just to get the day going. <laughs> like, we need that. There's so much. Like, I can't even... The R Plux cards are going to be overwhelming. Like, on a whole other level. The box is seven and a half pounds. And I found out, too, when I woke up, that it actually isn't all of them. Uh, there's a separate Nosferatu set that's coming, too. So I don't have that yet. I'll have it maybe next week. But that's much smaller. That's only like, you know, half a pound of words. <laughs> that's so much. I'm not complaining. I mean, they're, they're going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Uh, <laughs> what is this? I just, I don't, I don't know what this. Oh, it is SCP. It's my SCP restock. Okay, so yeah, uh, I know. Okay, so yeah, we'll rip one of these. This will be fun. I don't have room for it anyway. <laughs> so yeah, this this is another package that came about because of uh, me and Pink Eye have been working on that SCP checklist. And when the checklist got finished, I did a little bit of quick math and figured out, like, I don't have enough to finish the sets yet. I thought I maybe did, but I wasn't even probably close, right? I need, you know, at least six more of the YCSX sets. I don't know exactly how much more of this I need, um, but this will help me get this SHCs that I'm missing and uh, a lot of the YCSR cards that uh, YCSS cards I'm missing for the Pyramid of Doom card. When you order uh, Pyramid of Doom, always order two. Because if you order two, they'll pack them like this, and it makes a square. <laughs> if you order just one, it's a triangle, and it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I got another one of these. Uh, let me see. So I now have five of these. So that's 250 packs just of this because each of these boxes has 50 packs in it that's five zero in that thing but i'm, I'm looking for shc's there so that's what i want from that and this too so these cards these shc's i also don't have any of these grs yet i don't have a single one of these grs so i need to get more of them as well um there's special versions of the first grs in white this box has special versions in green. I have most of the green ones, but I don't have any of the white ones yet. So I need that too. <laughs> and then, yeah, Pyramids of Doom. So the Pyramid of Doom is the 10 UN uh, version of the box. And this thing is beat up. That doesn't feel good. Okay, sorry. Uh, this is a 2 UN. 3 UN, and then this is the 10 UN ball. Alright, just trying to deal with some trash. Today is going to be, like I said, I'm going to do the opening of all the R Parks cards. Then I need to spend like six hours cleaning, basically, because <laughs> this place is a complete mess right now. Like a totally trashed mess uh it wasn't so bad be like it was pretty bad before but what happened is i'm trying to set up another trade with uh with riley and i had to go pull out a bunch of cards from binders and boxes and things that are hidden away so now not only are all the shelving in chaos the floor is just covered in boxes too <laughs> it's just total insanity in here 
Uh, I'd take a picture for you, but uh, I've got some work stuff in here that I, I can't take pictures of, and I don't know where it is. So <laughs> I, I, if I take a picture, it'll show up in there. Okay, but anyway, sorry. Uh, so yeah, let's... Uh, what do we do? We're not going to rip these. These are too much. I can't do all that right now. But I do need to rip one of these because I can't store both of them. Uh, they're just too big. So let's see, which one should we rip? Oh, I don't know. How do we decide? I never know how to decide. I know. I know it'll be fun. Let's let's get one of those little. Uh, yeah, yeah. This will be fun. Here. So one of the things I uh, one of the other things I I collect on this channel, although I haven't done a video on them in a while, are these things called pocket models. And pocket models are trading cards where the card is a model kit. You punch out pieces from the card and you build like a little model of a ship or a car or whatever, right? Uh, and the packs all come with these dice because it's also a war game. You then play a war game with the little models. And so every single pack comes with two dice, these little baby dice, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll this baby dice and it'll decide which of these we open. Uh, if it's a even number, we'll open this one. And if it's an odd number, we'll open this one. All right, let's go. It's an even number, so we're going to open this one. All right. So yeah, it's um it's SCP again. Uh, this is my second big SCP video this weekend, but sorry, <laughs> I have a lot to get through. Um, you know I me, mean? you don't have to watch every video. So if the, if you don't like the SCP content, just don't watch that and watch whatever you like. Um, I try to set up playlists too, so like I'll put all the SCP stuff in an SCP playlist and all the hero battle and a hero battle playlist. So you should be able to, uh, you know, get get the content you want. Uh, you don't you don't have to watch everything if you don't want to but if you if you do want to watch everything that's fine you you can do that too <laughs> uh, but yeah make, make sure you subscribe or like if you do want to see this kind of stuff because uh, i do post a lot i try to post one video a day usually uh, which is which seems like a lot but i have a lot of stuff to get through so like i'm even at that rate i'm falling way behind but anyway, here, we're going to rip this whole box because we need to get through this. So, uh, should be, what, uh, 20 packs? I think it's 20. The 18, we'll count them. Uh, yeah, 20. 20 packs, 8 cards per pack. And I, I almost always pull this out to check beneath, but fortunately this one is clear, so we can tell there's nothing beneath it. I don't need to pull it out. Okay. Uh... So yeah, let's just count the packs, make sure we got, got what we're supposed to have here. There's 5, 10, 15, what? That's not, I counted wrong here, 6. Alright, 5, 5, 5, 5. And so these are the 10 UM packs. They introduce, they, they include... Everything from all of the lower end products, uh, except for the special stuff that's only in those boxes. So you won't get the white GRs in here. Those are only in the white box. Um, but everything else from that white box will be reprinted in this set. It also expands the original set with a mini set, uh, which is actually pretty big, called uh, YCSR-S. And so this is some of the stuff that's in the YCSR-S collection. There's LRs, there's an MLR, which I've never pulled. I would love to get that. Uh, the GRs, and then there's all these ZRs and ZR pluses, which are only in this set. And so you need to buy, if you want to complete SCP, you're going to have to buy at least three or four of these pyramids, uh, which is the most expensive thing. So that's why I'm going slow on it. I'm only buying like two at a time because uh, you know, eventually I'm going to have everything and I don't want to have a bunch of extra. So <laughs> that's kind of where we're at. All right, I'm going to pause here, and I'll cut these all, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just cut cut the packs. It's just like that, and I'll leave it right there. I'm not going to look inside or anything. Uh, and then when I come back, we'll have all the packs cut, and we can just look at them quick. Uh, I'll be right back. Just cutting open the last one here. 
done. All right, so there's 20 packs all cut open. Here's all the pops. <laughs> those. Every weekend, I end up with at least one completely full trash bag, like a full-size trash bag of just boxes and packs and stuff, right? <laughs> it's every weekend it happens, so uh, I've got it over here. It's actually already full. I think I'm going to be getting a second one out this weekend for the R Park stuff. Uh, but okay, without further ado, let's get on. Let's get on with this. Uh, let me make sure my sleeves. Sorry, we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna make sure my sleeves are ready. <laughs> I don't need my my uh, robe sleeves. I need these kind of sleeves. <laughs> yeah, this thing that I'm wearing all the time, it's a uh, just like a robe. I have it over because it's cold and <laughs> that's weird. But in Los Angeles, uh, it actually can get a little cold at night this time of year. And so, like, when I woke up this morning, it was 67 in our house, and I didn't want to run the heat yet, so I'm wearing this. And then usually I just forget to take it off, so it's on all day. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> all right, I'm also drinking coffee because it's this morning it's still here. I got up at a normal time today. I went to bed pretty early last night, too. So. Okay, but anyway, let's get, let's get to it. Oh, awesome. Okay, so... <laughs> Jeez, well, we're already pulling some massive heat here. Here's an LR. Uh, this is an LR I did not have yet, and I'm just mesmerized by the amount of emboss and etching on this. So this texture along the outside is all embossed. All of that is embossed out, and then all of these little red pieces are etched. It's insane what's on this card. This is an LR, so it's the, you know, the top rarity below MLR, which is the chase card of the entire set. And again, the one I don't have yet. Maybe we'll get it today, but we don't have it yet. Um, these XRs are uh, clues of SCP-01. So SCP-01 has 36 different variants posted on the wiki. And the Foundation does that on purpose so that people can't guess what the real... Uh, SCP-1 is. Uh, and so these cards that you'll get one of these in each pack and they just are like if you translate that it's kind of a clue trying to help you understand like which of the SCP-1s is the real one. Although they, they can't give that away because like it's not known. <laughs> Nobody knows. This is a ZR. Uh, actually this is a ZR plus. Yeah so this is a ZR plus you can see the tiny little plus next to it there. Uh, there's not much difference between the ZRs and the ZR pluses. Just the pluses are a little bit more rare. Uh, but they're all part of the same ZR series, which are these pink, uh, pink cards like this that, again, depict SCP-01. So the, um, <clears throat> the Tenuan version of this set is focused on SCP-01. The whole box is all about that. It's about figuring out what the real SCP-01 is, finding out about all the different SCP-01 uh, possibilities. That's what these ZR cards are. So yeah, that's kind of what, what you're getting there. <laughs> and in the Tenuan packs, you will not get Rs. So you, you get SR as your base. And you have to, like, I'm not going to sleeve these, but probably some of these will be new. But you'll notice that there's a solid mix here of cards, right? You've got YCSR 2 cards, you've got YCSR S1 cards, there will be YCSR cards in here. So there's a mix of all the SRs from all the different sets and a whole new subset of SRs is also in here. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of SRs to get. But you'll end up, you'll end up with, these will end up being bulk from here, because they basically act as rares. Okay, so here's another one. Is it the same exact pack? Is it the same exact pack? No, it's a different clue. So that was 86, this is 93. But we did get another copy of the LR, so... <laughs> well, one of the LRs. There's actually four of these. Uh, but the, I just... I seem to have gotten the same one twice. 
which is fine. Those can be worth about $10 if you can find someone to buy them. <laughs> that is that is the tricky part for sure. Uh, there aren't many people collecting these. It's like maybe three or four of us <laughs> in the whole world. Uh, this is awesome. It's kind of the S the uh, CP Foundation logo here, in in a nice kind of pink and silver. I like this art. You have to remember though, all this art is stolen. Even that is stolen line art. Uh, they just took it from the internet and didn't credit anybody. So there's no artist credit or anything on here. I have gone back and tried to like reverse image search these and some of them are real easy and it shows up immediately who it is uh, and then some are much much harder to find like some i've never found the original artist and you know maybe that means it's not stolen art but no it just means i can't find the original artist because <laughs> kmon didn't make any original art for this set as far as i know i mean they did the treatments so that's something they did like all this outlining all this embossing all, all they set up all that stuff and did all the print work on that. So, you know, it's still, they did some work for the set. It just isn't, uh, it just, it, it, you know, it's not original art like you might want or hope for. <laughs> okay, so we've got some, a lot of SSRs here. So I need to use more of the table because we've got to have a lot. <laughs> forgot how much. Yeah, so some packs, if they don't have a big hit, like an LR or something in it, they're going to have two SSRs. And again, the SSRs are going to be from all sorts of different sets. That's from YCSR S, YCSR 2, that's from YCSR 1. So it's like all these different reprinted cards in this set. So the pyramids are a great way to kind of fill in missing pieces from the other boxes and can make it so you don't have to buy as many of the other boxes to get the cards that can be reprinted. You still need to buy them to get the exclusives, though, so you're not out of the... Uh, you're, you're still going to be buying quite a lot. <laughs> There's a dupe. I'm going to try to mark dupes as I find them, although it's very hard. Also, i got to go a little faster because we have... Uh, I have a long day today, and <laughs> it's going to be, uh, yeah, there's a lot. This is a dupe. Dupe of that. I sleeve the SSRs even if they're dupes, because it could be, someone might want want them for their own collection. And I do want to have the ability to trade with people. That's neat. It's like source code. Oh, it's HTML code, okay, because it's got a div and sdiv and stuff. Somebody was asking me about this SCP-35. I don't know why SCP-35 is uh, popular. Personally, I like 64 better. Or not 64, uh, 93. <laughs> Sorry, 93. Uh, okay, and then, yes, we got a GR, okay, good. So the GRs have to flow here today, or we are going to be, we're going to have a, <laughs> we're going to have a rough box if we don't get a lot of GRs, because there are a lot of GRs to get. They introduced more in this set, and there's a ton from the other sets. Uh, this is one I don't have yet. It's from the... It's introduced in this box. You can tell because it's YCSR S. So when it's S, it means it come from this box. And it's a variant of the SCP-49 GR, which is the Plague Doctor. Everybody's favorite GR, I think. That is a dupe. That is quite an intricate thing there. <laughs> oh, I have it upside down. You know, pink is such a rarely used color in trading cards that it, it becomes really striking in this set when you see it. Uh, you know, because these cards just look, they really pop, right? And it's it's that pink color that you just don't see anywhere else. 
I'm not really, uh, I'm probably getting a bunch of dupes of those, but I'm not really counting at all. Uh, here's another CSR S. Another CSR S. And that is 007. Again, I love these line arts with the logos on them. That's very cool. We always talk about 811 because the poor Swamp Lady. She is the most Rule 34 SCP that there is. And yes, there are a lot of SCP Rule 34s. It's a whole thing. Why anyone would want that, I don't know. But you know what? I'm not here to I'm not here to tell people what to do. If you if you like that stuff, go for it. Man. We're all just here to have fun. Hey, another GR. I have this GR already. This one is from YCSR2. Which again, like it shows that you can get these cards in this set. If you if this set didn't exist, the only way to pull this GR would be from the YCSR two two well one UN box, in which case you'd get like one every three boxes. So like this ten UN box is the only reason it's even feasible to complete YCSR two. It, it wouldn't be something you would ever want to attempt without this box to help. And others the. Um, the yellow box also reprints these, this one. I know, I know there's dupes here, but I just, I can't, I can't do it in real time. Okay, we got another clue. And then this is a dupe. This is not a dupe. Oh no, that is a dupe of something. <laughs> this is another one of those. Uh, this one gets... I mean, you can kind of tell from the image here, but this is a, a succubus, so... Definitely gets rule 34 This one we have, right? Yeah, it's right here. Here, 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 and... Oh, I don't think I ever saw that one before. I'm just realizing that I already have. So I've opened so much SCP. This is the amount of SCP that I have that hasn't been sorted yet. And then this hasn't is also not sorted. <laughs> and I'm realizing now with this that I'm going to need another box. So we're going to set up another box. Again, this is unsorted cards. Like I haven't sorted them for dupes or to see if I already have them or anything yet. And that takes a lot of time. Oh, another LR. This LR, uh, I have many copies of now, maybe five copies of this. And I say it's the other LR, but there's actually, I think, five total LRs. So, you know, it's not, it's not the only other LR. Is that source code one. Yes, those are probably all dupes. <laughs> and now we can make a little more room here. Another XR. SSR, nice. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, today it'll be all Halloween stuff after this. I probably should not have done this video, but I just, I can't store these boxes because they're so big. So I, I, I really didn't have a choice. I, I needed to open this. Uh, the, the reason I want to open these packages now, as soon as I get them, I used to hold them until the weekend. But what's going on is um, uh, AliExpress lets you do this like pay on delivery thing. And I'm using it all the time now because in case I do need to dispute something, it'll be a lot easier if I 
haven't already paid the money, right? So that's kind of why I'm doing that. But it means that the vendor doesn't get paid until I sort of check that I got the box <laughs> or the time expires on it. And so I try to open those as soon as I get them or the day that I get them. And that way I can go and check those boxes in AliExpress and, and let the, hey, we did it, let the, uh, let the vendor get paid. Sorry, I should have freaked out a lot more than I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is the ultimate chase card in the entire set. There's just uh, nothing is more uh, sought after than this MLR. So it's the only MLR in the entire set of over 400 cards. This is the biggest one to chase. So we got it. Addo 99. I'm going to go uh, pull comps on that. I want to see if it's worth anything, although. Not many people buy these, but I, I'm going to check anyway. I'll be right back. I can't find any comps at all. Uh, there's tons of GRs listed, but I can't see anybody listing that card. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's super, super rare. I also have to look closer. <laughs> uh, we'll see. If we pull another one, we'll know. But that's the first I've pulled now in two pyramids. So it's at least not in every pyramid box, because I've opened an entire box and not pulled that. This is a dupe for sure, yeah. Now I can't see them all. I, I think I have this one, but I, I just don't remember. I'll put it there. Uh, all those are dupes. So yeah, how awesome. I just keep looking at it. It's such a pretty card too. Like a lot of very cool tech on it. These are both dupes here. Like now that we've got that card, we can go real fast because we we have we have like all the cards that I I kind of was looking for. <laughs> Everything else we get out of this is just kind of extra. I mean, of course, if we can get we get another one, that'd be awesome. And you know, maybe Pink Eye doesn't have his MLR yet and wants to wants one. Of course, I can't give him that one because that's the only one I have. <laughs> but if I had a second one, I could give it give that away. This is not the same. I thought it was a dupe, but it's not the same. It's the same SCP-2295, but it's two different drawings of it. One is from YCSR1 and the other is from YCSRX. But both are SSRs. And we have to remember that's stolen art. So, you know, I'm, I'm commenting on that artwork. I'm saying the original artist did a good job. I'm not saying Kmon did a good job because they didn't make that. Well, they did a good job on the foil, foil work. It's weird, but I keep pulling SSRs that I don't remember ever seeing before. You know, a lot of them I have definitely seen before, but some of them I don't, don't think I've ever seen. But again, I haven't... <clears throat> I'm really, like I showed you, I'm really behind on sorting my um, SCP. Once I finish sorting all of that, it may turn out that I'm like actually really close to done. But, uh, you know, maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. YCSX is going to be the one. That one just, we op I opened a whole box of it yesterday and we got one UR. Well, we got two URs, but it, one, it was a dupe. And so we got two copies of the same UR. And there's nine URs to collect, so that's kind of the the thing that'll block you from completing that set is the URs. Nice GR. I didn't have this one yet. It's another one of the YCSR S ones. So exclusive to this particular product. Maybe I should make more room for the <clears throat> for the GRs and less room for the SSRs. Now you can see kind of a better card. <laughs> okay. I'm always like, I, I try to work hard on 
this display as I go. Because <laughs> I feel like it's the main draw, kind of, of the channel. I see a lot of other YouTubers, they have much smaller spaces and they get real close to the camera. And like, I can get close and show you the cards. Um, but I also like having a lot of space to lay everything out. And then I know a lot of other YouTubers will set up their desks so that the camera is angled, down, uh, angled at it instead of straight down. And then they'll line the cards up this way, which can also be nice, but it limits your space quite a bit. Um... <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to stop this tangent right here because I was... Guys, I was just about, like, I was just about to go into a tangent on the geometry of various uh, camera views. <laughs> Remember, I'm a game programmer, right? So I spend a lot of time coding cameras in 3D games and the frostrums and the different shapes that you can have and and uh, the obfusc obfuscation that can happen in different types of camera situations, right? When you look straight down on a table, you can't obfuscate things, right? If I put a card sideways, it takes up less space. This is the most space it can take up, right? And the only way to obfuscate is to pile them on top of each other. Because you, you basically like reduce the space to a two-dimensional plane. But when you angle a camera at, at a plane, now you have a frustrum, like a triangular shape. I didn't stop this tangent, did I? No, I just kept going. Okay, and anyway, we're gonna finish it now. So yeah, you have this like triangular shape, right? And so now if you're looking at it this way and you put a card like this, the full face of that card will be in the camera, but everything behind it will be obfuscated. And so you re you reduce the amount of actual usable space by uh, quite a lot. Now you might be asking yourself, uh, Archivist, is there any reason that a developer would want to do that in their game? You know, why don't developers maximize the amount of usable space? Well, viewer, let me help you out with that. The reason they don't is because computers are not infinitely powerful, especially consoles. Uh, they just can't render that much. And having billboards, you know, things like this, obfuscating everything behind them helps because when it's obfuscated, I don't have to draw that. I can not draw all that. And so the certain camera angles can obfuscate more and actually allow you to draw what seems like a richer scene, but you're actually drawing it with way less polygons because of the obfuscation. So there, a little bit of a Sunday morning math lesson for you. Geometry, probably geometry lesson, yeah. I, I have this jar already, but I just love it so much. Every time I pull it, it's just amazing. It's this phoenix, and it's got this spiral effect. Ah, I love this card. This is, like, the best jar, I think. I say that, and, like, they're all great, but that one just looks so nice, I think. Here's another dupe of this uh, SSR. So you see the pyramid box is good. Like if you are interested in SCP cards and you don't want to be insane like me and create a museum of them and get acrylic. <laughs> Remember, I have sealed acrylic cases of all of the boxes, including the pyramid, and sealed acrylic of all the packs. <laughs> like, uh, hang on, I'll pause. I'll get, get one for you. I'm back. Yeah, it's like I should be doing all these tangents because I have uh, so much to open today, but here we are. So yeah, here's all the packs. One, I, I tried to pick like a really good pack from each of the boxes, and then I sealed it away in here. And then I have all the boxes too, and so I'm going to like... Not today, but maybe like two years from now, I'll create a little museum with all of this stuff in it. And I'll have the, I, I want to have like full, complete set of this, and I'll get it all on uh, big sheets and frame them on a wall. And then <laughs> I'll create like a whole altar for this thing. It's going to be amazing. But uh, later, today we got open cards. I feel like I 
Oh, I just made a lot. I just, I just went over there and made an even bigger mess. Remember when I started this video, I was complaining about the mess? I just made a bigger mess. I guess at this point, it doesn't matter. The mess is so big that it's gonna, it's kind of overwhelms everything. <laughs> yeah, so this, this pack is all dupes. <laughs> like, I, I swear, this entire pack is just uh, duplicates. Maybe that, I don't, oh no, it's right there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> definitely dupes. <laughs> Two more packs. Yeah, two more packs and then we'll be done with this video. I realize it became a 40 minute video. I'm very sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. This GR we really needed. Uh, this was one I didn't have. And it's another one that is only in this box. And so very good to get that. Very, very good. I also love this. This SSR picture is just beautiful. The refraction work that they did in the sky behind that whale is amazing. This is a dupe. And these are all going to be dupes. Maybe not this. Also not so sure about this. <laughs> sure about those. All right. Last pack, last pack. And then, yeah, we'll be done. Here we go. So I definitely have this SCP. Okay, it's gonna be another Duke pack. Sorry about that. Maybe not this. Maybe not this. Not that. Not that. But these are dupes. All right. Okay. So yeah, let's um maybe just go through everything quick, and uh, we can be done with the video then. And I'll sort those later. Sorry. Let me get these out of here. And again, I I just I don't want to sort these on video. It's already a really long video, but I I will sort all this later and figure out like what are the dupes and what aren't. For now we're gonna put it in here. <laughs> Let's just go through these and see if we can spot a couple of dupes to just save myself a little time later on. There's one, right? Yeah. There's another. Okay, I think we're good. I'll just bring this out too so you can kind of see it here again. <laughs> it says unsorted, unscanned. So like there's there's probably five hours of work in those that needs to happen. 30, 11, 14, 5, 8, 11. 11 a dupe. 27, 10, 30 is a dupe. 14, 24, 34, 7, 12, 10. 10 I thought I had. 14 we definitely have, right? 14. So we'll clear some dupes there. And then, yeah, we've got, you know, one dupe here, but... Uh, can't complain too much because they're such beautiful cards. Let's check our GRs. Just gorgeous. Like, seriously, they do such a great job with these things. I'm going to leave this out because what I'll do is I'll film a short and then that's that MLR again. So there's the Super Chase. Super Chase card one in the entire set. And now we have it. Awesome. Okay, I'll stop the video here. And yeah, I'm going to be setting up then the 
uh, Halloween stuff, and that's what I'll be doing the rest of the day. So, yeah, catch you later. Bye-bye.